With few days to the resumption of schools, many students who have to travel from one region to another for school have begun moving. At the VIP bus terminal in Accra, many students had queued up to board buses to their respective schools. Some of them had queued for about two to three hours and were yet to get a ticket for a bus. How long have you been here? Like three hours. And are you still sure that you're going to get a bus to um, a coupon? Uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. What, what, so are you giving up already? <laughs> I'm giving up already, but I guess I'm waiting. Maybe, I don't know. I'm just waiting. Mm. But, but you said your sister is in the... Has she gotten a ticket yet? I'm not sure, I'm not sure. So how long are you giving yourself to wait until you get a bus here? <laughs> like one hour to two hours later. Now, l l let me find out from you. School is going to be the new normal because you'll be putting on no smart social distancing and all that. How does it make you feel going to endure all these restrictions? <laughs> Actually, at first when I heard that you are going to school, I was not happy at all. I was not happy. Because of the COVID-19, uh, I was not happy. But mm, I don't know. Like. I've been here almost an hour and a half now. Yeah, and... Probably a lot of people are going to come as like you can just look at the queue. Yes. Mm. So are, are you still confident you'll make it to school today? Yes, yes. How how? Because looking at the numbers here. Hmm. I'll still wait. I want to make it today. Cause if tomorrow or Monday it's it's going to be a stress for me when I get to school. But yes. away from that, I just want to know how do you feel getting back to school after staying at home for several months? Well, I'm, I'm glad, I'm happy. <laughs> what, what is making you happy? Whom are you going to see that makes you happy? Or uh, what is making you excited getting back to school? Well, my friends and the fun and teaching, like a whole lot, everything about school. Oh yeah, it's really stressful. Mm. Mm. Standing under the sun and yeah, it's very stressful. Okay, but are, are you excited going back to school? Yeah, I'm really excited. What, what, what is exciting you now? Oh, we've stayed home for so long and we have to go and learn something. Now, we, we still know that um, the COVID is still uh, in the air. Um, we've said you're supposed to put on your marks and all that. You don't have your marks on. Uh, are you sure when you get to school you're going to get your marks on? Yeah, my marks is here. Mm. So why do you take it off? Because... <laughs> Is there a reason for it? I'm feeling hot. You're feeling hot? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so we would want to know from you, how long have you been here and are you still hopeful of getting to school? Yeah, we've been here for like two hours. Yeah, yeah. But still, yeah, yeah, we are hoping, yeah, we're going. Because they've sent some of their bus to come to Accra to take us back, so we're still waiting. The COVID is still in the air. You don't have your marks on. Do you have marks even as you get to school? Or, and are you going to put it on? And yeah, I have a mask. It's my bag. Because of the heat, and so that's why I've taken it off. But if I get into the bus, I'll make sure I wear it before I get into the bus. Yeah. Okay. General Manager of the VIP bus terminal in Accra, Samuel Kofi Apia, attributed the shortage of buses to the resumption of schools. They started getting crowded over here since Monday. So we have been working 24 hours around the clock. And now most of the buses are in Kumasi. And we have called them to come, some of them to come empty from Kumasi so they could pick uh, people that are stranded over here to wherever they want to go. There are a lot of people. We have enough buses, but you know, something like the crowd is too much. Yeah, but you know, VIP, we do all the best that we can. Meanwhile, some senior high schools across the country have begun receiving students for the next academic year. The students have been made to strictly adhere to the safety protocols to curb the transmission of the virus. So here at the Laboni Senior High School, even before you enter the premises, these are some of the inscriptions you see. No marks, no entry. So clearly it means that if you don't have a max on, you will not even be allowed to enter the premises. So no marks, no entry. Boldly uh, placed here on this board. And so clearly students who are coming in here have their nose masks on. Parents who are coming in with their walls have their nose masks on. And also one thing you will see here is um, a, a gentleman here who has the, the, the thermometer gun. Now what he's supposed to do is to check your temperature for you. Um, if, you if you're well, he allows you to go in. You can see um, the Veronica bucket 
placed at a vantage point. So this is supposed to provide students um, the opportunity to wash their hands with soap and before they enter. And so it means that every student who comes in here would have to wash his or her hands before you enter. Reporting for City News, my name is Kweku Ediyama Ansa.